So Biosys has a, quite an assortment of microorganisms in there. Uh, we have eight species of mycorrhiza. Now mycorrhiza are quite well known. They form a symbiotic relationship with the plant where the plant feeds the fungus nutrients that's acquired during photosynthesis, mainly carbohydrates. And in return, the fungus feeds the plant water and nutrients. A great symbiotic relationship that any plant growing indoors and out shouldn't be without. Secondly, Biosis also has eight species of bacillus. Uh, these bacillus help digest organic matter and make available nutrients. They can help protect the root zone against disease. And they can also help stimulate the root zone. Some bacillus are called plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. And these produce compounds that stimulate the plant, can help produce root function more effectively, and can help grow with growth factors too. Secondly, or thirdly, it's thirdly now, isn't it? <laughs> um, the biosis contains Pseudomonas. Now these are really good at degrading complex organic matter and help keep a clean root zone, as well as stimulating plant growth too. Uh, biosis also contains Trichoderma. Now these are free living fungi, which help digest organic matter, but they also go after other fungi. They're almost like pathogen hunters. Again, help keep a clean root zone and can help prevent disease. And lastly, we have two different types of nitrogen fixers. Uh, these don't form a relationship inside of the root. These live freely in the growing medium and take atmospheric nitrogen and make it available to the plant. And that enables us to run our nutrients at a slightly lower level and reduce our nitrogen input into the system. Great bacteria to have around and working all together in symbiosis, the mycorrhiza, the bacillus, the pseudomonas and the trichoderma are a great partnership to bring your growing medium to life.